there's the lineup for the 100 meters. Andy Triggs, hard to ride on the inside. Then Michael Jamison, Alistair Brownlee, Mo Farah, Jonathan Brownlee, Anthony Joshua, Robbie Gravatz, and finally Peter Wilson. All of our superstars have obviously got to take part in this event. Best of luck. And they're going to be sent on their way by the number one track and field starter in the world, Alan Bell. He'll twitch on the blocks there by Robbie Gravels. He gets away well though. The Olympic bronze medalist in the high jump is flying. But look at Anthony Joshua coming through. His long legs bringing in victory. Anthony Joshua, Robbie Gravels, then Mo Farah. Oh wow, and poor old Andy Triggs holds there way, way back in eighth place. But delight for the big man. Ten big points in the first event. All eyes at this moment were on Mo Farah, five and ten thousand meter gold medalist. But all the action was happening nearer the main stand where Anthony Joshua just nipped ahead of Robbie Gravard to take it. Good victory and smiles all round for our Olympic super heavyweight boxer. There's the result. Anthony Joshua wins it 11.53. Robbie Grabars in second place. Mo Farah in third. And for other Andy Triggs Hodge there. Way down in eighth place. Anthony, you big unit that you are. You steamed it. I didn't steam it. This is my competition. He spurred me on. Number two spurred me on. He's great. And, you know, I might have had a new career in running. Nice little <laughs> smile through the line. You had that before the line. You knew you'd won it. It's that feeling when you put in that last bit. Doug D, man, he's a good runner, he pushed me, so you always have that last bit in the tank, do you know what I mean, to give some, so. And how's it feel? First event out the way, the nerves have gone, you've got maximum points on the board, you're the man to shoot at now. Consistency, that's all it is. Keep on coming first, you know, it's an all-around tournament and I really want to win it. You reckon you can do it? I reckon. I'll tell you what, I'm not arguing with you. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. We're not going to beat about the bush. These aren't conditions for record-breaking 100-metre running, but Anthony Joshua... With dry conditions, where could he have gone? 11.53. How explosive was that start? He was brilliant. And I think in the right conditions, he would have gone sub 11 seconds for sure. I mean, that event played to his strengths. Power, acceleration. I think once he was into his running, it was going to be difficult for anyone to catch him, even Mo, Mo Farah. The first event.